Okay guys, I think some of you may be going to lunch because it's quite noisy behind me. Apologies for that. We have a game. It's starting to look like a game. The person can move and can jump. Okay, but they can also fall off the edges. And if we go this way, we lose the player. So we're going to make our level bigger. We're going to add more interesting things. And we're going to make sure the camera follows the person, the player, so that we can see what they're doing. So here we go. Let's edit the game. So let's have a look. Our first thing I want to do is kind of maybe define the size of my level. So I'm going to scroll out a bit. Now, when you're thinking about the size of your level, do remember you don't have very long. So maybe don't go for a very big one. I'm also not going to go for a very big one either. So there we go. I've got it set up. Back to pointer. Now this library here has the things that we've already made. So we've already made a play and we've already made grass. So just for now, to set the size of my screen, I'm going to add some more grass. I've clicked on it. I don't want to change anything. I want to add to the level. And I'm just going to go, I think, oh, given the level size, the time that we have, I think that's probably definitely big enough. OK, now I like to start with making sure the player can't run off each side and fall off because that's really annoying when you're playing. So I'm going, I've done cloning. I'm going to click here just off where they can see create. And I'm going to add a big wall. In fact, I might call it end wall because that's what I want it to be. That's not very nice. I don't like the look of that. Uh, so I'm going to change, pick something else, browse, menu, mm, flow lab sprites. I'm going to stick to those. And a, let's use a block. Quite like that. That looks like something you shouldn't go through. The player may never see this anyway. Um, yeah, happy with that. OK. Uh, anything I need to do on that's all fine. What about my physics? Yes, it should be solid. No, clearly it shouldn't move. It wants to be solid so they don't run through it. I'm okay with that. That's good. So now I need to click on it, clone, and add some more. Okay, let's make it high just in case somehow the person managed to jump up there so they can't go that way. And put another one at this end. Oop, went a bit funny because I'm doing it zoomed out. Okay, let's get rid of these ones. I'm using the backspace. I could click uh, done cloning. I could click on it and do delete as well. Seems to need to it twice at the moment. There we go. Okay, so now I have some walls so that the uh, player can't run through them. Uh, feels like it needs like these kind of look a bit too floaty and maybe I want some things filled in I'm going to zoom in a bit and then I can think about what I'm doing here okay so I feel like this should be solid ground underneath so back to arrow click create um, let's call what am I looking for I'm looking for like soil I think let's have a look browse uh, menu Flow lab sprites, blocks. Yeah, I'm going to use something like this. I think that looks like soil. I like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, solid. Doesn't move. That's all fine. Okay, let's clone that a bit. Oh, no, I don't like that. I mean, it's kind of cool. It looks like pillars, but that's not what I want, is it? Okay. So I'm going to go out of cloning here edit let's pick a different picture for it a different sprite okay so maybe this one that looks maybe that's the one i wanted okay okay now you notice because they're all the same type i changed all of them at once that's good that's what I wanted. So you can see I can add all sorts of things. I think here I might have a flower because that will be pretty. Um, flower. Okay, pick a picture, browse, 
menu, flow lab sprites. Maybe that's is in no no flowers there. Let's go back. Uh, objects. Ah, okay. There's some grass and there's some flowers. So let's have this flower. Ah, oh, pretty. Okay. Okay. Sprite flower. Now, obviously, players should be able to walk through flowers, right? So let's go to the physics and make it not solid. Now the player could be able to move through it. Good. And then let's have a few more flowers here and there. Okay, so I'm going to pause this video now and uh, build this level up and then we will move the camera. Okay, here we are. So I've made my level a bit bigger and added some extra things. I've made some jumps for the person's do and made it just look a bit nicer. I've tried to not make it too difficult because this is the first layer level. Um, for you, don't bother about putting too much in for now. Just get it working um, and try and finish the tutorials and then you can think about making it look nicer. Just get a working game for now.